Hello, welcome to Basic Geometry Definitions. This is uh, the first lesson in the CK12 Basic Geometry class. Specifically, we're going to deal with some definition here, some uh, vocabulary terms that you'll be using throughout geometry. And I want to start with sort of the least complex and move our way on up. So the first term we're going to deal with is point. A point can be thought of as a location in space. So a location, it has zero dimensions from a mathematical standpoint. So that means it has no length, no width, no height, um, and actually is not a, a physical thing at all. It just is a description of a location. So a point is zero dimensions and is just a location in space. Okay, if you take an infinite number of points and you line them all up in a row, like so, now instead of just a single location, you have an infinite number of locations that all have something in common. In this case, they all work together to form what we call a line. Now in geometry, a line is a very specific definition. Um, just in sort of regular everyday life, we think of a line as just, you know, a single colored strip on a piece of paper. In geometry, a line has one dimension, it has length, and it goes on forever in two directions, one way and the opposite way. If it's an actual line, it is infinite in both directions. If you have a line that starts at a single point and only continues off in one direction, like this here, then that is a type of line, but it's called a ray. And whereas when we write, when we describe a line on, uh, from a mathematical standpoint, we describe it by any two points on the line, say point A and point B, and then we put a line above it with arrows on both ends. With a ray, we describe it with the start point and then any other point on the ray and we put an arrow on top of it that only has a point on one end, like so. Specifically, we put the start point first and then the direction it continues on in second with the arrow pointing in that direction. Finally, if you were to draw a line that had a start point and an end point, then you're sort of only drawing part of a line. You're drawing a segment of a line and that's exactly what it's called, a line segment has one dimension, length, but it has a start point and an end point, and it's described with those two points, start point and end point, and then just a straight line above the two letters with no arrows at all, showing that it, it has a starting and an ending. Now, if you were just the same as if you were to take an infinite number of points and put them all in a row to create a line, if you take an infinite number of lines and put them side by side, then you create a plane. And a plane has two dimensions, kind of like a window. If you think of a window as a figure that has length and width and no depth, doesn't really have any thickness to speak of. You can even, if you, if you prefer, think of a drawing on a window like using a, a dry erase marker or something. If you were to use a dry erase marker on a window and draw, say, a triangle, that triangle would have height and it would have width, but it wouldn't have any thickness. So you couldn't see it from the side at all. It would just disappear from that direction. So a line has two dimensions. I'm sorry, a line has one dimension, but a plane has two dimensions. So because you can't see any thickness to a figure that's drawn on it, it makes it sort of conceptually clear that a plane has two dimensions. Two dimensions, like a figure on a piece of glass. Now finally, if you were to think of a figure that had both width and height and then also depth, it went back into the distance, like say a cube. Let's see if we can find the picture of a cube here. There we go. 
if you think of a figure that has depth as well, well then that, that three-dimensional figure is what we call a space in geometry. It has length and width and depth. It's, um, in a sense, it's a little like the um, point that we talked about at first. A point is just a location, whereas space is just sort of the description of a location or an infinite number of locations. So you can put things in space. You can describe points like so. You can describe lines. You can even describe planes. And if you describe planes or lines or points in space, then each of these things use, use the space as just sort of a, um, a play area, if you will, uh, something, uh, a place for them to exist and to have reference to each other. So that's all, all space actually is from a, uh, from a geometric standpoint, is this area for things to work in. So there's your basic definitions, point, line, ray and segment, which are parts of line or types of lines, a plane, which is an infinite number of lines, and then space, which is the three-dimensional area which each of these things can exist in.